G'day Spurs fans, it's Paul Hotspur Hippie here. I have returned and football has returned. Here we go again. Wasn't it great? It's the only psychedelic socks are on the internet, by the way. And uh, wasn't it nice? Wasn't it nice? I got a real thrill out of seeing old Ange Postacoglu, the new football manager of London, taking the uh, press conference hot seat. Some good uh, insights and answers, including his thoughts on social media, which is an old fart as myself. I couldn't care with. You won't find me on Twitter or anything. Can't be arsed with it. And... Um, I, I, I agree with Ange, you know, it's an interesting thing, you know, if you go out on, like Ryan Sessegnon has, uh, now that he's injured his other hamstring, um, if you go out there saying, look, you know, I'm having a hard time, you know, go easy, words, words count, you know, you're going to get a hornet's nest of stinging nettles and dog poo chucked at you by a few people, not, you know, not a lot of people. I mean, I feel for, for the kid, um, turned out to be a, a, a pretty terrible purchase by Tottenham Hotspur in the end. That's the way it goes, man. Um, you know, he didn't really play too good when he was fit, and now he's uh, he's out for the rest of the season. But he's still young. Hopefully he's, uh, he's got a, a career uh, ahead of him. Probably not a Tottenham Hotspur, though, let's face it. Um, Andrew was... Um, talked about the number of games we were playing this season, about the stop-start nature of the season, which I don't know about you, uh, you internet nutters out there, but yeah, I, I found it a bit frustrating. And as Ange said, you know, it was it, a lot of it was our own doing. You know, we didn't qualify for European competition. Uh, we got knocked out of the cups early. That's what happens, isn't it? Um, the international breaks, everyone had everyone faced that that was the that was the same problem for everyone and AFCON and AFC which I don't think Ange was really referring to because those players on those duties were still getting game times um, but I think there's a point though you know the first the first 10-12 um, games of the season we were getting a bit of a head of steam going up the mountain nice rhythm you know it was like the Dave Brubeck quartet um, five beats to a bar always tricky that one um, and then we've kind of, not just our fixtures have stopped started, but we kind of stopped started a little bit. Injuries, um, to get week off. So um, I'm hoping that after the, the next international break, that's when we'll, you know, hopefully we can finish the season as we started it. But, you know, football's a funny old game. So I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to smashing Crystal Palace. 5-0. Five 5-0's nil. Five my tip. They are Roy Hodgson-less. Maybe they've got a little bit of a bouncing performance. Uh, someone tipped me off in the chat this morning. I did a stream this morning. Click like and subscribe if you want to know when I come on. Um, that uh, they Apparently they played all right against Burnley. Hard to judge that though, because we're not Burnley, are we? Burnley. We're not Burnley. We're Todd Hotspur, by far the greatest football team in the world I've ever seen. So I don't know how much you can actually read into that one. But it could be an interesting game. I'm hoping for a nice, entertaining game. The kickoff in Sydney is at 2 a.m., which is a really lovely time. Uh, I'll be doing a watch along for it, starting at about um, you know 1:30 ish a.m., half an hour before kickoff. Let's let's just say that because the world is round, We've got lots of time zones and things, and I can't be bothered working it out. Um, and then I, I, I've got a, I've got a, I've got a few more days of really hard work, and then I can start. I'll still have to work, you know, but I can, I can get back into doing more of the, the, you know, the daily videos and streams. But I've really had to have a bit of a single-minded focus on, uh, on work at the moment. But that, that is coming to a nice conclusion. Um, what else was Ange on about? He, he seemed, he, he seemed, he was very humble about uh, when someone mentioned the the Football London Awards. He doesn't know quite how it's judged, um, but he seemed to get a kick out of talking to the likes of Harry Redknapp, who I remember he did cross swords with uh, um, Australia Jordan. I think Australia won that game. It was a World Cup qualifier, wasn't it? So it's possible we might not have won that one, because I remember our qualification was a little bit up and down, and during that period, Ange Postacoglu, of course, started getting all the same old flack we've been hearing I've not been hearing for the last two weeks because I've been in a complete bubble. No football, no uh, no Tottenham news, no nothing. 
I've just avoided everything because, you know, two weeks idle hands make the devil's work and all that. I'm sure everyone's out there eagerly fixing and proposing solutions to something that I don't think there's a problem with. Um, but during that phase of the qualification for the World Cup, Ange had to face all those same criticism and questions. You know, you need a plan B. You need to play more, you know, defensively minded uh, uh, strategy. And uh, as usual, Ange just carried on his own way. We ended up qualifying for the World Cup, and we did. We had a good tournament. We didn't perhaps get the results, but we did play well. It was a, it was, a, it was a good time to be an Australian football team supporter. That's for sure. We did, uh, we did um, acquit ourselves with a plum. Uh, so I'm, tip, I'm tipping five 0 tonight. We're currently fifth in the uh, fifth in the English First Division, and uh, well. We're a few points off uh, Aston Villa. Was it five points off Aston Villa? But we've got a game in hand. We're a few points ahead, uh, ahead of uh, Manchester United. Again, we've got a game in hand. I'm hoping for some nice, tasty results to go our way. It's the big Man Manchester. Hey, it's Manchester. Happy Mondays. It's the Happy Mondays derby. Um, and uh, it was nice to see an old friend of mine from those days pop into the chat this morning. Our finest moment, I think, was when we were DJing at Sheffield Uni in 1991, and uh, we needed to have a leak, so we put in, we put on uh, Rope for Luck by the Happy Mondays, put it on at the wrong speed, and we were both standing at the trough when we heard, <laughs> ran back down and adjusted it accordingly, um, but then with the day, so it's the Manchester Derby anyway, I'm digressing as I always do, Manchester Derby, hopefully it's a one-all draw, or a nil-nil draw, lots of red cards, Lots of uh, injuries flying around. Um, another injury on our front is uh, Richarlison out for a couple of weeks. Is going to miss a couple of games. I don't know. It's going to be an interesting, interesting front line. I mean, now that there's a there's a gap opened up. Ange made the point though. There are always opportunities. There is no the door's always open. There is no magic door that appears to give you a chance. So. Um, I don't know if it'd be the likes of Dane Scarlett making an appearance, but probably if I had a punt, I would say Sun, Rashalis and Kulisevsky. I mean, yeah, it's probably that, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know which way around they'll go. They'll probably make it up as they go along when they go out there. I don't know. I'm hoping for good things from Timo. I wouldn't say he's been disappointed uh, so, so far. Um, I think he's been kind of worth what we got him for, which wasn't a lot. Uh, it was it was a useful stopgap, that's for sure. Um, but you know, it's up to him if he kicks on and uh, goes back to his previous form for the remaining games of the season. Then we could have a steal on our hands. If there's no improvement, I don't think it was a bad deal because. Uh, that was, He's available in the January transfer window. There's no one really, was there? So it's probably best of a nothing bunch. Um, so I think it still was good business. Um, but if if this continues this way, will I see us buying him permanently? I, I don't. I don't think so. Unlike uh, Eric Dyer, who, according to one headline, is being kicked out by Bayern, and the next headline is he's being extended by a year at Bayern. That's why I haven't read any news, folks, because uh, when there's no football happening, it's just too speculate. It's too much speculation for my brain to handle, and I, I don't like giving it air really and commenting about it. I mean, I do sometimes, but it's not the sort of content I want to do. I want to create a bonsai tree, you know, snip here, snip here, keep it small and perfect, a discreet number of subscribers, instead of just everyone flooding in and it becoming a big old. I don't know, poison ivy all over the good house of uh, the Hotspur hippie. So I'm hoping for a good game tonight, boys. I'm I'm excited about it. I'm I'm excited. It's been it's been nice. Uh, it's been nice having a bit of a step away um, from the whole uh, from YouTube and football for a couple of weeks. But when I did my live stream this morning, um, I thought to myself, I really enjoyed it, and uh, I think I've got to balance it a bit better. So if I do have to work hard again still make time to do it because it was fun i did enjoy it and it was a it was a good little crowd you haven't forgotten me which is nice but even if you had i'll be doing the same old crap anyway whether it's one person or 500 watching it's the same old crap um 
So I'll see you later on, folks, for uh, uh, an exciting 5 nil drubbing of Crystal Palace. Uh, watching along, I'll be in super sweary mode, as I always am in football. And uh, hopefully it'll be swears, it'll be triumphant cursing. Uh, other, other, uh, not the, the wailing and gnashing of cursy teeth. So until, until uh, what time is it now? I can't even, I don't even know, because I can't look at the, can I do that? No, it won't tell me. I don't know, was it four o'clock? 10 hours, 10 hours, about nine hours. I'll see you then, folks. Peace and love, man. Peace and love, man. Peace and love, self. So rusty. And come on, you Spurs.